hospital <laughs> the asylum well let's start with the hospital right yeah okay looks like we're heading back to coverside all right let's get going here we are then these will be the ambulances and this is the hospital of saint mary so let's see if sanders is here patient or visitor hold on hold on let dr grant guess a visitor Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? Um, shall I be honest? Let's be honest. A little bit, yeah. The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Is that right? Did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. <laughs> Sounds serious. Mm. Mm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Ooh. Sure, let's try it. Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted to hear that, Mr... Um... Uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Nice. Whoa. Why? Uh, no. No. Why did I sign up for this? This is not good. How you doing, Charles? No, there's nothing around you. Don't freak out. That... It is a deep sea diver behind the doctor, but it's not. It's not. He's walking sideways now. Okay, what the fuck? You. <laughs> you poisoned me! What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Well, I'm not! Medicine blinded me, and then he gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. <laughs> I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? Yeah, yeah, I will. Anyway. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Right, what, your shoulder wounds specifically? Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Right, okay. Well, that's, I think, what I need to do according to the casebook. Can I help with something? It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Hmm. Is that going to be a problem? Maybe. But, well, I, I'm not afraid. I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. I'm familiar with both now. <laughs> Let's talk about the multi-handed wild beasts. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. Right. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Okay, and then there's vomiting humanoids. Yeah, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but mm. he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Okay. All right. Well, bye. bye. I, I assume these are side cases. Yeah. Well, let's see. Field research. Yeah, field research. Okay. So just a couple of places to go: the former patient's shop and the home of the infected man. Okay. Maybe I'll get on with that after I'm done with Lost at Sea. But for now, we're here at the hospital. I think I need to have a look at the archives. Uh, so let's just take a little look around. Oh, it says archive. <laughs> there you go. There's a good old clue. Right, and this is it. So, yeah, uh, Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimhaven Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. 
He is. The wounded man is now seeking medical aid. So we've got slightly different things over here, it looks like. Department, right. Um. Sure. Patience. After the flood. Um. I wonder if. I wonder if Grimhaven Bay would work. Well, again, I've got something. And that symbol's disappeared, so yeah. Peter Crowley. Um, no. Joseph Willow. No. Huh, okay. Um, maybe this isn't what I'm after. Well, actually, Joseph Willow, deep cut wound to left shoulder. Which is where it would have hit, according to the retrocognition. So yeah, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound stitched, fracture set and bandaged. No trace of infection evident, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Right. Could be just a fake name. And that symbol has gone. I think we've done it. Yeah. Okay, evidence has been updated. Let's just have a little look. Interesting, interesting, okay. Can I just talk to you again? Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got then surgery, storage, reception, and patient well patient wards. Bed rest recommended, right? For Mr. Willow. Hi there. What happened to you? What happened to you, mister? Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, <laughs> hurts talking. I'm sure it does. We, uh, get well soon. I'm sorry. Oh, get better soon. Bye. Right. Yeah, that was Pete. Where's Joseph? Mr. Willow. Not you. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, <laughs> sir. Yeah, all right. You live and you learn, I suppose. No one else around here, but wasn't there supposed to be another floor? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Floor number three. You? Ah, could be you. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. Mm. I'm Joseph Willow. You, you should probably look somewhere else. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're lying. <sighs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Hey, it's him. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. <laughs> yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Well, I'm investigating the expedition. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. <sighs> so Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. <laughs> right, well, yeah, from the top down, what happened to the expedition? I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Okay, well, Albert did survive, briefly. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Right, so why... why abandon them? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... 
things. <laughs> Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. Right, so what happened? Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. Right, okay. You were drinking? I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, oh, I see. The diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. They ran out of alcohol, or they couldn't drink anymore, and they went hysterical and started killing each other. Goodness me. What were you looking for underwater? The cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open, and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Hmm. So where was your last dive? Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. <laughs> you can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. Oh, we you make it sound so alluring. Feet. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Hmm, okay. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? Right. My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded... I think I am. I'll write down the address. Okay, cool. And the ship's log? Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. The surgery ward, okay. That was the basement here, wasn't it? Alright, uh, bye. Get better soon. Oh, I'm looking forward to this! I think we're going diving soon. I just need to find myself a suit. Uh, let's see, what does the casebook say? So we've got a couple of things. Uh, both compass points are both places to investigate. Um, the diving suit factory... Western Grimhaven Bay again. Sea Smith Avenue between Levi Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Let's take a quick look at that. Right. Levi Coffin Avenue, Deep Shore Road, Sea Smith Avenue. So if I press space to place mark, I get all the objectives up here, yeah? Or I get all the case points here. So the diving suit factory, I guess I could just put that there. That's a really nice way of doing it. That's great. I really like that. Anyway, back to the casebook. That's that one. The last place he remembers is a surgery ward. I'll check out the surgery, and if I don't find anything, I guess I'll go speak to the doctor again. Right. Anything else up here? Hey there. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a ship's logbook, would you? Oh, something in the locker. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in this city is just in disrepair. It's crazy. And yet this might be the nicest building I've been in. So here we are on the first floor. Let's go down to surgery, shall we? Hey there. You don't want to talk? No? Okay. Looks like I can just go on in. The captain's blood, maybe? Uh, no. 
Oh, really? I'm digging through the coffin? Oh, it's okay. There's not a body there. Just gunpowder, actually. <laughs> Clear water. Yeah, if you say so. I don't really believe that. Here we are. Here we are! There you go, the ship's log. So, yes. Crew reporting hallucinations, distributed rum. Hopefully it will distract them. Found an air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth. He's completely unhinged, his madness disturbing. Right, well, we sort of knew that from the will that he wrote. Put him on a lifeboat. Resulted in mutiny. Well, there you go, okay. So there's the log, and we've got a new location, Devil's Teeth. How are we doing with the mo- Oh, really? Okay, well, I guess we're done with the hospital. How are we doing with the Mind Palace, though? Can we work out anything else? Okay. Started a massacre in the port as a result. Right, any more? No, we can't mix them all up. Nope, can't figure out anything else yet. So we got the ship's log. Still need to get the diving suit, I suppose, but there's this. The expedition anchor point. I have the coordinates and should be able to get there by boat. Right. So, this is close to the city, but not in the city that we're going out to sea again? Alright, well, to begin with, we just need to go over there, don't we? Oh, hang on. Ah, Devil's Teeth is really not too far away, but okay, yeah, alright. That's where we're going then. Uh, I suppose I'm going to fast travel back to the, yeah, Grimhaven Base Central. Um, covers Coverside has probably got another fast travel point, right? Let's see if we can find it. Let's just keep exploring. The more I explore, the more I like this game, actually. Oh, there you go. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too far away. Yeah, I don't want to say anything that I might regret, like, uh, this is maybe the best HP Lovecraft game I've played, but it very well could be. I think I'm enjoying this a lot better than Call of Cthulhu that came out earlier this year, or uh, late last year, whenever it was. Anyway. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um... I kind of want to check out the asylum at some point, too. So yeah, back here. Let's see if we can go get a diving suit. Specifically where we need to go. I think it's actually on the water, so I'm really looking for a boat somewhere around here. And there's that guy again, holding his friend's bones. His body parts in his bag. What the fuck? Hey there. Any luck? Don't catch me, okay? Is this it? Seasmith Avenue, yeah, we just need to go... Oh, it, it should be up here somewhere. Oh, oh, here we go. Really should be looking out for those holes in the walls, shouldn't I? Right, I think I've played this game before, you know. You know what, before we go in, just in case. <laughs> uh, inventory? Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Let's actually try the revolver for once as well. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm hearing something. Who needs auto-aim? Actually, who needs to use a revolver on a wild beast? I think they go down in one shot. Maybe I should just use these. Gunpowder again? Yeah, a little bit of gunpowder. That's how they... yeah, that's how they disappear, I see. Just looking for anything that I might be able to interact with, really. Well, here we are. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. 
Right. Well, no, obviously you'd close up the legs, but... <laughs> What's in the box? Alcohol? Man, all right. I don't think I want to go down there. Not yet. Not until I find the suit. Okay, shell casings too. Sounds like there's still something around. Anyway, what's up with this one? I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. Good point. It doesn't really look too great, does it? What about that one over there? And what have we got here? More rounds? Perfect. Oh, yep. <laughs> Just slide that in your pocket. Harpoon gun, flare gun, diving suit. That's everything. Aside from this, apparently. Nice. Nice. Okay, so casebook... And th okay, that's the boat. Right. Well, again, not too far away. Let's head to Devil's Teeth then. Let's give this a little bit of a whirl. I haven't been diving yet. Here we are then, back at number three. Right. I think I actually maybe saw the boat to this place a little bit earlier. Although it wasn't marked as a boat to Devil's Reef, but... Yeah. <laughs> Ignore the dead bodies. That boat there? Yeah, that's the one we're taking. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. We're leaving the city, so, loading screen. That was quick. So, here we are. Not much on the map. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that, that's for me then. I hook myself in and then get lowered down. Shouldn't there be someone, like, operating the controls up here? I don't think this is really a single-person operation. Well, I guess it is now. Oh, damn. Yeah, how... How am I going to get back up if there's no one reeling me back in? Did I think about that before I just dove off? Oh, shit. Uh, well, we'll sort something out. Right, what's up? The chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. Okay, right, yeah, again. Let's have a look at the tutorial diving. Uh, harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time, flares light your way. E, if damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. Okay. Okay, so this will be the flare, that's a harpoon. Yeah, looks like it. And yeah, holding E, that's regulating the pressure, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. The chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. Well, there's another one over there. Wow, this is crazy. I wasn't expecting something like narcosis from this game. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Maybe, maybe. So yeah, down here. Load up a flare. Okay. Wasn't lighting the area up quite as much as I'd like, but still. Keep on going, I suppose. There's the anchor over there. Someone lost their helmet. Ho! Oh. Holy shit! That's the thing from my vision! And my sanity is going down. A lot slower than I think it would probably go down, but it... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I don't think it means me harm. I guess we just get unlimited flares and everything. Uh, no, he's not down here. He can't be down here. He's not wearing the uh, the proper gear. Fuck, though, man. You're kidding. Oh, no. We don't go down there, do we? I guess we've already come this far. 
Just fall. Yep. As best you can. Oh. Alright. Okay. Probably best I don't look down. <laughs> I don't know if I want to fall any further now. Yeah, okay. There's another one. So this is where those... Jesus Christ. This is where those divers were abandoned. There's one... Well, hang on. What's up? Oh. Yeah. Ah, here we are. Oh, what the hell? I guess he moved. Shit. That's the thing from the trailer as well. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, Hugh. You shouldn't have moved, I guess. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be uh, holding that. I should be holding a harpoon instead. Down here. Down. Whoa. Don't move. Maybe shoot it. Uh, uh. Oh fuck. Oh Christ, okay. Go this way, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, I'm moving. I'm obviously probably going to die like you, but... I made it, I think. <laughs> I walked into the light. Maybe I didn't make it. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, so I've got all my stuff back. Yeah, I brought all this down there with me. Let's see. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Well, at least I've still got my camera. Oh. That, is that a bunny rabbit or a scientist? Or someone who's probably going to attack me. Hello? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Okay. You just keep doing what you're doing, man. You're doing it better than anyone else could. The suits are all cut up. With a knife? Yeah. Someone else over there. Whoa. Right. Is this shallow enough to just walk across? Yeah, it seems so. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay, we're actually taking photos again. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Did I get it? The Innsmouth Attacker. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throg Morton. Right. Yeah, well, at least now I've got something to tell him. Hey there, buddy. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Hold still. There you go. Proof you're still alive. Same with you. Hark, he comes. The sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me. Make me. I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes! First, second, third, opened by the aura! You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Has it worked out so Wake, well for you? You holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. Okay. <laughs> right. Looks like there's a bit of a camp there. Let's see what else we can find. What other clues we might uncover. Nothing around here? No. Hold on. It's for science. 
Oh, it doesn't hurt me? It doesn't hurt me. Alright. Oh, wow. So, jeez. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh. 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 So, we're looking for tripods for, for pictures? As well? Interesting. Okay. So, hang on. Where, where, where did I keep that? Because I don't know if that's related to the case. Is that law? Mythos. Prehistoric statue photo. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Let's just click all these off. There we go. So the mine palace. Albert Saviors, mad scientists. Madness emanates from the scientists. There you go. Oh, a choice. A choice needs to be made. Do I save the survivors or abandon them? I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. Man, okay. Uh, do I have to choose now? Uh, not yet. That's right. So those two lead to that one. Albert was the source of the madness. So save the survivors, or abandon the survivors. I can just change it at will, it seems. Burn documents. Right. Okay, okay. Hmm, okay, keep looking around. We- I don't know if we're done here yet. We're probably not done here yet, because I don't think I got all the experience or anything, right? You see now, do you? The oh, hold on, hold on. Of the truth. I didn't notice this. There's something around here I can look at. Is a crow leading me to it? It's this. A perfectly preserved artifact. Ah, is that Professor Was it Doe? The focus of their worship? What's that? Nice. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm kind of freaking out. Oh, that wasn't there before. Retrocognition. Okay, right, so... Again, we're going to have to put the pieces back together. So we have an event here. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. The key seal. They're ready to cut up their diving suits. Which they did. No events that way, it looks like. But we've got two over here. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! Is that it? Looks like they're carrying it, so they've already got it. So, one up here. Okay. What? It's shivering. This. Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. Yeah, I think I am. And for once, I don't think it's actually linear. We've only got a three to deal with, but right, so they're planning their attack over here. That's number one. We're going to skip past this one, because this is where they take it. That's number two. And then they're leaving. I think that's it. Yes. found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the Professor in one go. Okay, shit. <laughs> right, okay, A again with the Mine Palace. It looks like we can maybe finish this off. Burn documents, the underwater artifact. The Innsmouthers know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. So all of this leads to save the survivors. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. Or... Abandon the survivors? That all leads to this! It's too dangerous to save them. Hmm... Do I leave the scientists down here to die? That is the question. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like I might want to leave them to die. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? So that's it, yeah. Um, so, 
No, I can't do that. There we go. I'm going to take the moral high ground or something, which might actually lead to worse consequences for everyone else, but I'm going to try and save the survivors. So that's what I want to return to Throgmorton with, I guess. It's maybe the last time I see you guys. I think I'm out of here now if we've collected everything. I don't know. I think I'll tell Throgmorton about you. I think. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> All right, so we donned the suit. S still, how do we get up? How do we leave? Inflatables? Bl You're going up a little bit too fast. Earlier we read about the bends. Was he not really paying attention? Or maybe he's just... He's already got it. I don't know. A lifetime of diving in the Navy? I, fuck, I'm not sure. Either way. Well, he, <laughs> he seems fine. I guess he's dealt with the consequences many times. Okay. Alright, so yeah, just to confirm. That's it, we got those. Ultimately though, Throgmorton will be waiting for my report in his manor in Southern Old Grove, so it looks like we're actually heading to Southern Old Grove now. Old Grove is a place we have not yet been. Old Grove is not far away from Coverside, right? Uh, so is that it? There we go. Right there, the Throgmorton Manor. That's where we're going. And then maybe I'll end the video. I don't know. I've been playing a lot. <laughs> oh! This isn't the Devil's Reef Hotel. Where is this? Underwater? Huh. I wouldn't. This is why I wouldn't. Great, you got a tentacle growing out your hand. Explain that one away. Wait, now where are we? Oh, now I think we're actually back in the Devil's Reef. Yeah, okay. Still doing the same case though, still lost at sea. Still haven't seen Robert Throgmorton. How you doing? How's your hand? Good? You can still operate a camera. And a gun. Okay. Uh, let's see, shall I change it up a little bit? Back to newcomer? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Simple as that. Ah. Oh, my diary part two, okay. Okay, right, well, we're back here now. Um, let's check on my next door neighbor. The door won't budge. Will it ever? I hope it does. Because I think he might be the sources of those noises. Hey again. Oh, what's this? A note about the hobo signs. Locals use signs to mark special places. Oh! You've seen the crooked H-shaped sign on doors around town? That means the house is inhabited. There's a V-shaped sign for barricaded, dangerous places. You see a sign with a cross and three Ks? Reach for the gun. Oh, well now I know. <laughs> I kind of figured out some of it, but yeah, all right. Cool. Is there anything else I missed down here? I'm watching you, newcomer. Yeah, and I'm watching that fucking spider crab above me. Oh, there's something else here too. Okay, Walter. K help you if I hear you're peddling your cheap, affordable living again. I could live with you renting out beast-ridden flop houses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market, and I have dangerous people living here that I can send after you. You've been warned, Vic. Okay. 
There's just so much to this. Anyway, yeah. Um, I suppose we could go a little bit closer by going to that, right? And then we just head north up uh, Warwick Street. So let's do that. Although, will I have to go through that infested area? Oh shit. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Right, so I just want to make the m mark on the map now. That's it, Throgmorton Manor. To the north. Oh boy, alright. Yeah, this seems like maybe a fence I shouldn't cross. Through here. I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, let's not go inside. Let's just make this really quick, shall we? Come on. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> just keep telling myself that and maybe it'll come true. What's this? Oh, it's the first aid kit that I don't think I actually need. Oh, I can't carry him, no. Oh god, what have I done? What the fuck have I done? Jesus Christ. <laughs> let me up, let me up, come on. Oh jeez, okay. Right, yeah. That was a daft idea. Uh, is there a nearby boat? Oh, there's one behind- oh really? Did I- oh god, I didn't see that. Fuck, alright. Alright, don't spit at me, please. Although I think I need to learn about your kind, right? I, I need to perform some sort of task for that doctor. I need to check on a specific house, though, I think, so, yeah. Right. Is this it? Wow, okay. Uh, Mr. Throgmorton, sir? I don't know if you're going to like what I've got to tell you, but... Let's see... Through there? Yeah, it's faint, but you can see the H symbol. I think that might have been the guy that was holding the umbrella before. <laughs> hey! Oh, Albert? Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey there. Right. Your expedition needs help, or oh, they died. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. I don't feel good about that. The members are alive. They're on the seabed, in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Well... Let's not blame Sanders, let's just say there was a general mutiny. The crew of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the Professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? How did that happen? Well... It seems they wanted to kidnap Professor Doe as well. The Innsmouthers were there to kidnap Professor Doe. They ambushed the expedition, captured her, and took the artifact she found. They called it the Seal. The Key but Seal. How did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? Seems that after the Seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. And they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers. Do you have proof they were involved? Uh, One of the attackers was killed by a I took a photo, expedition. that's right. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. 
Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. Right, okay. <laughs> I was disconnected to my investigation. Hmm. What do I get out of this? Well, let's go from the top down. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. You might be right. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. Oh. I can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. Okay. I'm a detective, Mr. Thrower. <laughs> not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. All right. Um, I'm in. Yeah. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. It really isn't. Indeed. <laughs> Here not for is me. Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. Okay. You'll find it's fair. Will I? Well, let's find out. Have a good day. Foot traps, hand grenade, knowledge point, frog monster. Okay, right. Wow. Okay. Quid pro quo. Well, let's just take a look at the case book. This game is really opening up. So, yeah, we can get along with this main case. Well, there's more side cases. A delicate matter. Where's Glover gone? Herbert Glover. I kind of want to get on with that. But maybe I should take another look at the letters from Oakmont and maybe go to another one of these locations. I don't know. I really don't. So, yeah, more documents to just sort of tick off the list. So many in the casebook. Okay. Right, well, um, let's just take a look at this, shall we? Oh, the obituary. Fair enough. You know, I... <laughs> I've done pretty well stealing from buildings. This is definitely the nicest building that I've been in. So I'm wondering if I'm going to find the nicest stuff to steal. Hmm. Maybe upstairs? Hey there, please don't shoot me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So when I was in the bar in the first video and I was asking if there was a nice place in this entire city, there's at least one. Ah, oh, budge. Really? Wow. Okay, well, there's not a great deal to steal around here. Well, that's probably a good thing, because I imagine he might shoot me. Uh, the basement? There's got to be something down here in the basement, surely. No. No, say it ain't so. There's nothing? Not even in there? No, I don't think so. Ah, oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, let's go out and uh, I guess maybe I'll end the video. Yeah, I've been recording for quite a while and oh, look at that. That's a good place to end it. A new fast travel location. There we go. So I can get back to Old Grove. Quick as you like. Fantastic. All right. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to end most likely part three of The Sinking City. Thank you very much for watching the last couple of parts. Hope you enjoyed them. What should I do next? Shall I continue on with the main quest? Shall I go for the side cases? Maybe I should take a look at some of these. So there you go. Just another quick look at all these possible locations I could visit. Maybe pick one out. And uh, I'll start with that in part four. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Sorry. What the fuck have you got in your bag? That is a deep sea diver behind the doctor, but it's not. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, <laughs> sir. Yeah, alright. You live and you learn, I suppose. It's suicide. 
worse than suicide. Oh, Amazing. you make it sound so alluring. Oh, yep. <laughs> Just slide that in your pocket. Shouldn't there be someone, like, operating the controls up here? I don't think this is really a single person operation. Yeah, how... How am I going to get back up if there's no one reeling me back in? Did I think about that before I just dove off? Oh, shit. Oh. I guess we just get unlimited flares and everything. Uh, no, he's not down here. He can't be down here. He's not wearing the uh, the proper gear. Down. Whoa. Don't move. Hold on. It's for science. Inflatables? You're going up a little bit too fast. I wouldn't. This is why I wouldn't. Come on. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> Just keep telling myself that and maybe it'll come true. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. I don't feel good about that. Members are